Leo. Leo, welcome. We're going to do a general read for you guys today. We going to see what's going on. Yeah, okay. We'll take it. Keep the messages that resonate, leave the rest. Wow, the lovers keep showing up for a lot of signs. Empress shows up. You're feeling really good right now. And this is awesome. Um, and in the actuality, I'm getting goosebumps right now. That's really strange. So something's going on. Ooh. We have the Empress, where you're feeling abundant and a few things like that, where life is doing pretty good. We have the Lovers, the Eight of Cups, the Queen of Swords, the Ten of Swords, and the Three of Wands. There's a possible choice here with the Lovers, but I don't feel it that way. I feel it more as that you're working on a relationship that you're doing everything you can with the Eight of Pentacles here. Sometimes you're having to be critical about things and emotionally divorced. And with the Ten of Swords after that, I can see that it needs to stop. It needs to stop because if you want to see this through, we see the Three of Wands. If you want to see this go somewhere, this committed relationship or whatever it is to you, that you need to be invested in it. But it's like maybe enough is enough with the Queen of uh, Swords. Or maybe you're hoping for this end. Now, the Two of Swords is the desire. You don't want to have to make the choice. That's understandable. It's not easy. Knight of Coins, Five of Wands, Knight of Cups. You're not wanting to have to make the choice. You'd like just things to go well for a change. Where there's not so much fighting, where romance is back, where you've got the um, I hear playfulness back in things. Well, when we look to the outcome, we have the Nine of Cups followed by the Tower. There's a realization about your dreams coming in. It may be shocking, a shocking realization. And it could cause some regret. It could cause a lot of emotions to come up. And in order to deal with this, we have the Knight of Cup or the King of Cups. You're going to need to be emotionally mature about things. And it may not be easy. Um, it's almost what I feel is like there's a, a point where it becomes like a this catches you so off guard that it it almost becomes like a temper tantrum like it just it just skews the profanity it fucking throws you like it just fucking throws you and you're like what do I do with this like it is it comes out of left field you don't see it and it was completely unexpected. And so, as this goes through, there is this... Breathe. Just breathe through this. Like, don't keep your reactions under control. Now, throughout this, what is working for you is the Two of Wands, okay? This is followed by the Six of Wands, the Queen of Cups, and the Three of Coins. There may be a choice to be made here. You may need to be the bigger person. With the Queen of Cups and the Three of Coins, and we already have the King of Cups show up, 
this can be that this connection is actually pretty decent with the three of coins here, that it is something that could be worked on. What you don't see is you isolating yourself with the seven of wands. Page of wands, ten of coins, and the moon. Somebody could be coming in with, there can be good news coming in. And this news really projects itself into the future as we see the Ten of Coins. So it's almost like you see this daydream, if you will, and you can see where this is all going, but there's uncertainty of how you may get there. Ooh, what the fuck? All of a sudden this just goes sideways. The Three of Swords, the Seven of Cups, and the King of Swords. Queen of Wands, Eight of Swords. The Three of Swords talks about a possible breakup. And now we're looking at the Seven of Cups, which it can do two things. This breakup provides you with opportunity, or it provides you with a lot of confusion. And you need to make you need to analyze it of how you're going to deal with it. This goes back to actually the possible outcome, which is something that blindsides you out of left field. It may create an opportunity that you need to look at with the King of Swords. And then we have the Queen of Wands. So being able to understand the beauty within that situation and capitalize on it um, because it gives you an opportunity to, I want to say rise above the bullshit and be able to step forward. And even though you're in your head with the eight of swords, really being again with the king of swords as well, really being able to look at that situation and see how it best, those opportunities best suit you. Um, that's what I have for you. It, there's not much else coming through. It's very, very interesting. And I'd be curious as how this um, resonates for you. But Leo, that's what I've got. Best of luck this week. We'll see you next time. Stay safe.